Right, ladies and gentlemen, here we... Oh, I wasn't ready, but... <laughs> that was that was your big introduction. Well, what I was going to do is pan down and then make an introduction. Oh, it's not good. Yeah, OK. But when do I do it, then? Right, ladies and gentlemen, the sun is coming out. We're on trip 24. We are here in Bristol, uh, and uh, there's a special guest for us today. Oh, there she is. What an entrance. That's the best entrance we've had in all 24 episodes. It's J-Mac, also known as Jesse. Hi. Hi, and welcome to the trip. Thanks very much. Gonna, this is embarrassing now, you don't know what to say. Yeah, what are we going to do? What are we going to do today? Just tell us what we're going to um, do. We've got a good plan. We've, we've seen a cathedral, we've seen a few gorillas. We're going to oh, get on a ferry. What? We've seen some gorillas. We've seen some gorillas, i.e. that one there. Oh, yeah. Um, we're going to get on a ferry. We're going to go to um, Clifton Suspension Bridge. We're going to go to a pub called the White Lion. Yeah, and, not a castle. Um, and then just get the ferry back. Yeah. We're stuff. trying to have a day today where we We've don't locals, we don't so. think about the ball, but it's quite hard. What did you have to drink in the burrito shop? I had a Modelo. Yeah, a Modelo. Paul had a pear cider. Yeah, a pear cider, brothers. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, but yeah, basically, we, we got off the mega bus. That's right. We got off the mega... I've never got a mega bus before. It was a real treat. Jesse's showing me all the culture today. And um, we got off and then saw that there was a gorilla ex exhibition on. And unfortunately, after all the torment that I put Gemma through in Copenhagen, I, I fear for Jesse today. I really do. But it's going to be a kind of see them as you are rather than look for them. Kind of thing. The sun's trying to come out. This is Bristol Cathedral. I'm sure I've seen an episode of Skins Bristol film. Uni. Here. Bristol yeah. Uni. Just, just there. Yeah. Well, that building is yeah. Bristol. But our coach didn't stop there. This is, this is. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Well, I kind of did film them, but I'm not going to properly. It's like Skins around here, you know. I'm sure I've seen some Skins episodes film around here. I'm going to stop filming kids now because that's illegal. Right. Onwards and upwards to the harbour. <laughs> I know. I'm good at this. I'm a pro. Right. So. Uh, Bristol is the home of Banksy, and uh, here is some of his work. Of course, I could be Banksy, nobody knows. And this is outside the sexual health clinic, so uh, there you go. Well, we're gonna be getting on one of those. Going down the river. See the old Clifton suspension bridge. Well, we're on the ferry and we're heading to Clifton at the moment. Uh, one pound odd, I think, for a round trip. One pound seventy for a Jesse's got uh, sunglasses on. What of it being so bright out there? Um, this is this is nice. So we've got our own romantic little boat trip. There's nobody else on it. It's just it's just us two at a boat in the middle of uh, what is this river? Do we know what river this is? The Avon. Avon. Yeah, I was on that. I was rowing on this just the other day. I didn't know Stratford was near here. It must be a big river. Right. So yeah, we're going to make our way there and then show you the wonderful cliff and suspension bridge and that guy over there. There he is. <laughs> Still pack it. I am now. <laughs> this is the SS Great Britain, uh, one of the biggest attractions in Bristol, along with the bridge. It's, I, I can't give any facts. I've, if my book's got it, my book would have the facts in it. But uh, yeah, we've got no facts for you on that. <laughs> so just enjoy the view. It's a nice boat. There you go. That's my Paul Jackson travel guide view of it. It's a nice boat. It's Brunel, so you know it's got it's got to have it's stamped with brilliance. Anything Brunel touched was amazing. To be fair, it's a really cool boat around here. Oh, I'm still recording. Right, okay, that part of the video would have been great. My knees. Right, uh, that's a nice boat. Really rusty, rusty, rusty bad boy. And then some nice marinas. All right, my loves, well, basically, here we are. And Don't forget the main road. Yeah, there's a main road there. And uh, I found a bridge, my lovers. There it is. The, uh, I think I've seen this bridge before when I went to Exeter uh, on the coach. But there it is in all its glory. I've just showed you 
SS Great Britain, which is Brunel's boat, and here's his bridge. Brunel, what a clever man, eh? He stamped his mark over Bristol, that's for sure. Right, so we've got to get somewhere where it's actually higher than that bridge. And while you're standing down here, that's quite a daunting prospect. But, uh, and now there's a big wall in the way. So, there's the bridge. And we're about to embark on trouble. But uh, Jessie wants a bit of nature. She wants to be over that side. So, there. off you pop. <laughs> Can you cartwheel big enough over that? Maybe. Oh, here's a zigzag path. To the water. I don't think that's the right way. Here ends the journey. <laughs> well, there we go. It was nice. Been in like 8,000, <laughs> Yeah. Right, well, we're now on the zigzag path and uh, we're about to see how much Endeavour, it's great Ben Nevis training this, uh, this path will take. We'll see us at the top and see if we're having just as much fun there. <laughs> The exciting video gets even more exciting, ladies and gentlemen, as we are here, almost pretty much at the top of the bridge. And then the view you get from up here, it's quite far down. Loads of bikes. Well, there was a wasp <laughs> around me, and, uh, and it's still around me, so I'm just gonna run with the camera. Is it still there? It's gone, it's gone. Right, uh, there's the view from up here. Pretty impressive. The whole of Bristol. And there's our action, action woman, J-Mac. Why, why does Sarah call you Mary, by the way? My middle name. Ah, uh, see. There you go, there's a fact for the camera. Come on, let's walk across it. We're going to walk across it, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it was a long way up, and that's why that sign's there, just to change your mind. We got about halfway over, but uh, unfortunately, <laughs> jelly legs here. I had to run back sheepishly after <laughs> thinking, actually, we're quite high up. <laughs> Didn't even think. It is quite high. I'll give her that. Well, there's where we got to. About there. And that's some view from here. But it is quite a long way down. How you feeling, Jesse? You, uh, you okay now? How's Bristol so far? Great, love it. Seen some Banksy? Top five favourite city. <laughs> yep, it's up there. So are we. Uh. It's all for the for the starting montage. So really? Bad. Yeah. Just for a bit of culture. Well, since, uh, since you last saw the video, we've been for a nice fish and chips dinner. Uh, we've had several half pints in several different pubs. And uh, now we're back on the river and we found our second Banksy uh, on this boat, which is a venue and a gallery, as well as a bar called the Thekla, uh, is the second Banksy. There it is. Banksy in the night must have snuck down and uh, drew that bad boy. So there it is. So we've got an hour left, time has absolutely flown. Hasn't it, Jesse? <laughs> yeah, I need more cider. More cider, Christ, I, I, yeah, that'll do, that'll do it. Uh, so we're hopefully gonna find another pub to go with the many we've already been to before we leave in about an hour's time. Sad, sad times. So here we are, we're home, back from Bristol. Obviously didn't film as much today, didn't even take as many photos because we had a good day, me and Jess, E, Jesse. <laughs> Okay, so we're back now. Obviously we didn't get any film footage between them, but we pretty much spent the majority of the afternoon, evening, drinking. So you didn't really need to see that on film. You saw the suspension bridge, you saw the cathedral, 
uh, and we saw most of the main sites, but I feel Bristol's maybe a little bit unfinished. We have done 24, it is negotiated, we saw the bridge and stuff. I need to go back there, and those bloody gorillas, why is these animals are following me everywhere? Anyway, I did purchase this, uh, a tomato sauce holder, very nice indeed. Um, but yeah, had a good day, uh, Jesse just had a lot of fun, uh, got a little bit drunk, and 24 is now negotiated, so you can see me next time, we will go back to Bristol, probably film a bit more, might take Jamma see you as we can drag along, but for next week we are in Portsmouth, uh, I'm back on my own, down to the harbour, another sea town down in the south, and uh, Banksy t-shirt, this is the first time we've seen one film today, so Banksy t-shirt obviously for Banksy, we saw some Banksy as well, so great day in Bristol, and uh, we will see you on the next one. It's late, it's been a long day, night night. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're back. For round two of Bristol to see these bad boys. And what you're about to see may shock or offend you. It does contain scenes of an unlikely nature. It is Gemma being allowed to eat some lunch. And it's gone. <laughs> and it's and it's got see, that's all we needed. She's had an ice cream too. I've been I've been good to her just as the sandwich was. Yeah. But uh yeah, it's uh, time for a roast beef number. Some uh, monster munch, obviously, and, uh, and then we're going to carry on. We've seen about seven or eight so far. Uh, it's supposed to rain heavily today, but uh, at the moment it's just like it was last week. So we'll crack on in just a second with some more Bristol. Oh, oh and there's a castle. I forgot to mention that. There we go. Nice castle. Yeah, it's a good good tour tourism board I, I'd make. Oh, get your friend's coming over. Oh, he's gone. Here we go. Yeah. Red sky. Yeah. Well, we're back on the hunt again for uh, gorilla spotting elephants. I'll set it again uh, using the map. We're doing pretty well. This one's Mondo outside the uh, Bristol News and Media Limited. But uh, put aside the gorillas just for a second and put aside the Banksy and put aside the, the sightseeing and stuff like that. Something that's, that's very exciting and I nearly wet myself uh, to, to be, for a kind of phrase. Um, we were walking around and I saw, or Gemma saw a wheelie bin uh, that had some names on it and went, does that mean anything to you? I was like, no, not at all. Not at all. And then suddenly cracked into gear when I realised that I did. Because, uh, and we now know it belongs to a church, this is over there, and it's Pip and Jay! Pip and Jay! Pip and Jay! Unbelievable! Pip and Jay, I should explain, I work with Jay Gladwin, uh, and his brother is called Pip Gladwin. So, Pip and Jay, it's unbelievable. But maybe they named it after the church in Bristol, I don't know now. I don't know, I'll have to ask him when I see him. But it's just over there, so... Uh... zooms in onto that. Not only is that unbelievable, that that's Pip and Jay, but uh, something else unbelievable, it's not even raining. I'm just using this for effect. So Mary Poppins is about to sort off somewhere else. So yeah, we're going to find our next destination. Now we're going to go, uh, we're going to go back into the town and I'm going to show Gemma Clifton, which we saw last week. Uh, obviously not the person from Parkside, uh, but the real town of Clifton, a very beautiful town. Uh, are you enjoying yourself so far, Gemma? Yep, a great time. Having a great time. How's the hangover? Getting there. I should point out that both myself and Gemma were out till uh, this last night, and uh, one of us felt bad for being out late, but it's fine. We then were comforted by the fact that the other one was out also late. We were both on night buses around about one o'clock in the morning, later than that even. Um, but yes, uh, it's slightly starting to rain, uh, and then it stopped, and then it starts again, so we don't know what we're going to get. We'll have to wait and see. I'll probably be drenched, so enjoy the monkey t-shirt now before it gets soaked. I am a primate dancer. So this way. Oh, God, chaps. Right, uh, okay. Anyway, follow me. Oh, God, there's loads of them! I like the way they all, they all, all school children these days look like... Uh, they're doing roadworks. I don't know why they give them those uh, fluorescent jackets. <laughs> in fact, that's, if anything, that's more of a kind of pedo's dream. They can spot them even in night, even if it gets dark early, even if it's December. They're like, oh, look, there we are in the fluorescent. <laughs> oh, yes, lovely. 
I'm going to stop this now because it's a family documentary. Uh, we might even edit that out, or we'll probably keep it in because Gemma will probably say it looks funny. But Pippa J, unbelievable. <laughs> Taxi. And uh, just like the castle up the road, the uh, blitz has taken its toll here on this wonderful church, and uh, there's no inside. And then this rather spooky selection of trees and gardens. Right, on to the next one. Well, here we are at a disused uh, harbour railway train site uh, for Brunel's Railways. Used to transfer them down to the harbour by the M shed. And uh, I've just been on them tracks. Dangerous out there. Yeah. Gemma's just tried to push some sulfuric acid only. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we've just come from the M shed. We're going to go and see the SS Great Britain, <laughs> which is uh, the biggest ever hand <laughs> oh Christ, <laughs> biggest ever handmade uh, ship. Uh, also a Brunel creation. Then we're going to go up to the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Did you guess, guess who uh, created the uh, Clifton Suspension Bridge? I don't know, but you're going to tell me for. Who built it? Who do you think? Well, I know, but you better tell the viewers at home. Well, it's that man again. It's Brunel. <laughs> Oh, and here's some points, uh, some very valid points actually, uh, but you can't, someone's locked them so you can't uh, actually change the points. But uh, now we could do some sort of silent western where I turn it black and white and I'm like attached to the railways. Ah, there's these trains coming as well. No. Right. And then we'll head up there, back to the Clifton Factor. Well, we came past it last week on the, on the ferry, but here we are in the flesh. And what a creation it is. Yeah, SS Great Britain. In Bristol, biggest man-made ship. There's a bit of sunshine glistening on it at the moment. There it is, marvellous. Fill her up, boys. Well, we're here in Ashton, Ashton Road to be precise. They're about to walk back towards Clifton now, do the final part of the day. We've got nine left to see. There's Gemma, still happy, still walking uh, and uh, refreshed. Um, and here is Ashton Gate Stadium, the home of David James and the home of that gorilla, Alfred. So there you go. We saw Spider, Spider Monkey as well and Subo, which was not Susan Boyle, which is a shame. So, park, in a, park time. Let's uh, get back on the map. Well, we've left there, uh, Bristol City, and now here we are. We're in view once again of the famous, who designed a Gemma, who built it with their bare hands? That's it, Mr. B himself. Mr. B himself. Uh, but before we get excited and head to Clifton for a second time in, uh, in the space of eight days, it's time to cross this rather bleak looking bridge. Look at the state of this. I'm, I'm guessing a train used to cross this, possibly. I, I really don't know. Look at it. Um, and we're going to go and get a, a drink, a pint, in the pump house, which we saw last week, uh, or we spoke about. Look at the river, though. It looks absolutely gorgeous, the Avon today. It's in <laughs> absolutely prime condition. Mud, oh, oh, beautiful. You take me to some fine places. Boy. I do, I do. Only the best, only the best. So um, let's go and have a drink at the pump house because let's be honest, it looks like it's going to absolutely chuck it down. So, uh, yeah, time to leave this part of Brizzle. Right, well, here we are. Time for a little pit stop, as promised, on the all new Paul Jackson, I'm actually a nice guy when I take people out for the day, day trip <laughs> to Brizzle. We are in the pump house. We came here last week, didn't have time to have a little drink, but it's time for a nice relax. And uh, what are you drinking there? I'm drinking a bath ale called Gem. Ah, gem. even with a G? A G, a G, a G, a G <laughs> shugging, I'm shugging again. <laughs> Damn those shuggers. A G for Gem. A G for Gem. <laughs> and we are off now, back up to our old friend, Cliff. <laughs> to see his heavy suspension bridge. <laughs> Cliff's Heavy Suspension Bridge. And if you get that joke, congratulations to you. 
Well, we're here in Clifton, and uh, just as I, I predicted, we get out of the pub, and this greets us, uh, this wonderful weather. But we're still going to go across it, because we're British, and it's what we like. Jack Johnson here, making banana pancakes. Uh, I'm not being mean, she's bought that specially, it's a special raincoat. Uh, I am in t-shirt, so hence the umbrella, doing me great favours as well. I'm still pretty dry. So, uh, let's go and uh, climb across, do what we didn't do last week, and get a whole way across the suspension bridge here in Wet Clifton. Will we ever go on a day out where we've got to look at animals, where it doesn't, doesn't piss down rain in the south? Are we in the southeast? No, southwest of the country. Bath, remember the lions? We didn't even film that day because it was so wet. But uh, yes, we've got an umbrella today, so everybody's happy. <laughs> See you over the bridge. And there we go, there it is. And this is for you, Jesse. We did it. Gemma's no wuss. <laughs> Super gems. Not afraid of heights. And it still teems down with rain. It's not even, it's not that far down, I mean. All right, I mean, it kind of is, but uh, yeah, it's an achievement. And then you get that view, which is obviously better when the hot air balloons and the sunshine are on it, but uh, there you go. But it's worth it when you get, when you get to see a, a gorilla like that with a top hat. Let's go and see it. Yeah, let's go and see it in the rain. Here we are at the BBC, no less, in uh, Bristol, and uh, we found Pudsey Gorilla. There he is, custard to his friends. Made by the DIY, DIY SOS team. Nick Knowles and the gang had spare time from doing up gardens and shit to do up a gorilla, so there you go. But, uh, we're heading back now to the city centre. We've only got three left to do. Three left to do, and then we are done. And it's time to eat and drink and be merry before we get the train home. Woohoo! Let's go! Well, there's an art gallery there. We're uh, well on the way. And this is part of a university. And I've just found my favorite gorilla so far. There he is. Mr. Cool Daddy himself. Banana shirt. Oh yes. Two more to go. Two more to go. That away. Well, I've just marked off number seven, which is the final one on there. And we have now completed, look at this damp, it's soggy. But we have completed the whole of Bristol. We've done it all. We've done it. Rip it up. We're, we're done here. It's yeah, one more, one more. <laughs> Let's just, just enjoy uh, the fact that there it is over there. I'll pick those up. Uh, but, uh, that is the final one. Seeing me, seeing you. We've now seen 47, the whole 47 in Bristol. So while I pick up this mess here that I've just made, um, we've really enjoyed ourselves. It's been a pretty stress-free day, actually. It's been pretty calm. The rain came down, but apart from that, We've gone all around. We've seen Clifton, we've been over the bridge, we've been under the bridge, we've been round the bridge, we've been in the pub, we're gonna go to a pub. No, we've still got two hours to our training, so I don't know, maybe there's a bit more time to see a bit more Bristol. Uh, but I've had a great day, great two days in fact, and uh, I look forward to the next trip, which is Portsmouth. Should have been Portsmouth yesterday, but Numbnuts forgot the tickets. So I've had to rebook it for next Tuesday. So we will see you there, down by the harbour, for another fun-filled day. But uh, from Bristol and from the gorilla spotting, uh, certainly it's it's goodbye. But uh, we'll probably have a few more video sessions before we get on the train later. So um, yeah, we did it. We did it. Great times. Yes. Yes. What are you doing looking at? It? Oh yeah, we just got back from Copenhagen, by the way. <laughs> so apparently there's um, there's dragons in Wales. There's something else going on in Bournemouth. We're heading to Milan. Maybe Singapore. When will it end? That's what I hear you ask. And the answer is probably never. So, uh, um, I'm just gonna tidy Bristol up a bit, as soon as I made the mess. Yes, yes. Ah.
cool as this. It's been here last week. Some sort of amazing bubble bath dye. And there she is. Gemma! No! I'm sure Lee and Lee and me remember this very well from last year. And my mum would remember it from just last month. Gemma's having fun. It's like candy floss. Having fun? Yeah. I'll grab some, I'll grab some. Here we go. <laughs> Look, I'm on the foam. <laughs> Hello, I'm on the foam. Yeah, that's best joke. Best joke I had. It's amazing. I know. I didn't expect this. What a nice way to end. I know, it's amazing. A nice sea of pink water and bubbles. It's amazing how something just as simple as pink water and bubbles. There's probably not even supposed to be bubbles in there, someone probably just emptied some bubble bath. Yeah. Stick your dipstick in, and there we go. There's your foam. Don't eat it. Oh. Mmm, uh... ah, tasty. Dinner. Mm. <laughs> and then there's just a side patch just over here. Someone's got in. Um, <laughs> TV. Our first local of the holiday. <laughs> right. Well, let's not be sidetracked by pretty things. We got some dinner to eat. Yay!